right. Hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is hump day. Oh, yeah. And it feels like it should still be Monday right now. Anybody else feeling that way? Um, so it's Wellness Wednesday, and today we're going to talk about workouts and fitness and what it actually takes to improve your fitness and and have a healthy and strong and capable capable body because if you're anything like me what i used to think and what i hear from people over and over again is that if i'm going to actually make progress if i'm going to see changes in how strong i am and how you know athletic my body is and and my fitness it's just gonna take more time and effort and energy than I have to give right now. So I just can't do that, right? And maybe you're here, maybe you are here in this group and you have thoughts about trying to be healthier, right? Maybe you're experiencing the impact of not living and, and having regular exercise as a part of your life because um, that's a that's a really hard place to be. You know what starts happening in your body when you're not regularly moving uh, the way that your body is meant to, right? We're we're designed. Our bodies are are just evolutionarily like movers, and and we have to have strong, capable bodies. So what happens when we aren't moving our body enough is um, symptoms. You know, we get aches and pains in our body, and for a lot of us, like our posture starts to curve and it creates pressure in our back and our shoulders and our neck. And, you know, you may have experienced injuries because uh, when your body isn't isn't strong, you're more susceptible to things like bad knees and, and shoulder pain or, you know, you go to pick your kid up off the floor and all of a sudden you throw your back out and you're in pain for weeks. Like these are symptoms of your body not being strong. Um, and then it comes out in other ways as well, right? Just low energy and, and feeling like you're dragging throughout your day. For some of us, it's it's weight gain um, and, you know, our body composition is changing. We're just getting heavier and it's it's harder to move around. So your, your body is meant to move. And if you're feeling those symptoms right now and the discomfort of, you know, not being active, but you're feeling stuck in that place, because maybe like me, you're believing this, this lie that I have to really devote a ton of time and energy to this and that's something that I, I can't do. And so I'm gonna bust that myth right now and I have to share this story with you because um, for years and years and years, I've been teaching fitness classes for 19 years now, 20 years coming up this summer, which is crazy. And, you know, I've done these big workouts over and over and over again. And I've just, you know, I've spent so much of my life, like, really working hard at my fitness, which is great. Um, but as I became a mom, and especially once I had my son who had special needs and this rare disease, it just felt so exhausting and so overwhelming to work out. So I started to change my approach. A couple years ago, um, I ditched the long workouts. I totally ditched them. I every once in a while I might do like a 45 minute workout max, <laughs> but like I'm talking like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. These are the workouts that I do now because I found that I could do the shorter workouts more consistently than like the big workouts every once in a while. And I would come away from those big workouts just feeling super exhausted and worn out. And so it's been a few years really since I've done that. Well, now that the gyms are like back in and I'm, I'm getting more into these workouts, I, I've taught <laughs> yesterday, I covered a class that was an hour long. And you guys, like I, I thought I was gonna die. I got done with that and I was so exhausted and I was like, my body was just so worn out and so tired afterward. And it just reinforced for me that like that, that is just, it's gonna make me tired, right? Like that is an energy zap. And there are st there are times where I wanna move, but like that really high intensity, you know, like go, go, go as hard as you can for 45 minutes, an hour, like that, that really left me feeling tired. And so I want you to know that you don't have to do that. 
you know, that was just validation for me that the approach that I'm taking right now and the approach that I'm using with so many other busy moms like me, like it really works. It really works. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to zap your energy to get strong. So here's, here's the secret. Shorter workouts that you can do more consistently, like every single day, is an absolute magic formula for you. And I want to tell you why. Number one, you will see results and you will make progress even by doing short workouts, right? The the huge long workouts are good if you have goals for building endurance, right? If you want to be able to like work hard for an hour, but honestly, to increase your strength, to see your body start to burn extra body fat, um, to, to have energy and stamina for your day, you really don't need to do a ton of work. It does not need to be a ton of time. You can do that and you can do that very efficiently with something that we call interval training. And this is where, um, you know, you alternate back and forth between different exercises so that you're continually working for, you know, about 20 minutes and you can get a ton done in 20 minutes. It does not have to be a huge ordeal. Okay. So it does work. Um, it is not going to make you exhausted. In fact, short workouts actually give you a boost of energy, right? There's research on this. And if you, if you search in the group, there's a, there's a picture of brains. They've done brain scans on this now. And like what happens in our brain when we're not moving, what happens in our brain after 20 minutes of exercise and 20 minutes is this beautiful number where all of a sudden like our brain activity lights up and especially things like creativity, uh, productivity, problem solving, focus and concentration. It's very energizing, right? And so you get that benefit in, in 20 minutes and it's short enough that you have not just completely exhausted all of your energy stores, right? You haven't like burned out to where you're feeling tired for the rest of the day. And 20 minutes, 20 minutes is magic. Whereas if you push further, you may just end up, especially if you haven't been exercising for a while, you may end up feeling really worn out and, and tired after that. And it, it could actually bring you down for the rest of your day instead of picking you up. And maybe you've experienced that, right? Like you can leave a comment here and let me know if if maybe you've been trying to, to jump back into workouts and it's like, oh my gosh, getting up to that 45 minute mark, it just, it feels like I'm exhausted afterward. So it doesn't take a ton of time. You can be efficient. 20 minutes is going to give you a boost of energy. You can get a lot of work done in your muscles in 20 minutes to where you are seeing results. And, you know, there's this other big question that comes up like, well, I know that if I work longer and harder, I'm going to burn more calories, right? And if I have a weight loss goal, I have to burn more calories, right? And my answer to that is yes, but also no, because there is just a ton of research out there right now that simply like burning calories is not the way that your body is actually going to shed weight. It's just not. Um, it is a piece of the puzzle, yes, but working out and doing these long workouts really is more about your heart health and your system. And like we talked about with endurance, it is not just about that equation of calories in, calories out. And if you are slaving away, trying to just get that equation balanced out, um, there is a very strong possibility that you're going to do that and, and burn more calories um, than you're eating and still not see a change in your weight and your body composition. And I see this and I have experienced this over and over and over again because it's not. There's actually other hormonal things that are going on behind the scenes in your body um, based on like your, your, your blood sugar and what you're eating throughout the day, how you're fueling your body. Uh, things like stress and stress hormones. These are actually the bigger factors at play when it comes to to weight loss and fat loss. So if if your mind is stuck on that piece of like, I have to burn a ton of calories, I want to challenge you right now with that. Like, 
What if you let that go and movement becomes less about all the calories that I have to burn and more about doing this to keep your body healthy and strong and capable and functioning and you know what everything that your body actually needs and and looking instead you know if you have those big goals of weight loss at the other factors like nourishment and and stress and I support moms with this in um, my mom restore system so if you want to talk about that you can let me know but you know don't get don't get caught up I will caution you on getting caught up and stuck on just I have to exercise to burn X amount of calories because it's just not it's just not the big picture and it is entirely possible that you can have a healthy and capable and vibrant and energized and strong beautiful body that is not going to be skinny right um, and this is not my goal for any mom. When I talk about weight loss and I talk about wellness, it is about getting you to where your body is healthiest. And and a lot of us, we do have extra body fat to lose because it's it's creating you know this extra extra burden to carry around. But you know, fitness for the point of just having a certain body type, um, it's it's gonna it takes a long time it really takes a long time and so I encourage moms to shift away from that where it's so easy to get discouraged by not looking a certain way to tuning into how you feel and the function and the lifestyle and the freedom and the energy and um, the the vibrance that you can have from living an active and healthy lifestyle okay so 20-minute workouts, short workouts, shift the narrative in your head around fitness because it doesn't have to be a big ordeal. It doesn't take a lot of time. It's not going to zap your energy, and it is absolutely doable in a busy lifestyle of, of us who are raising kids who have extra needs. So I would love to invite you, if you are here and and are in that place where you're just stuck right now and you need to get some momentum and you need to start an exercise program because you're, you know that your body needs this and it's missing this. Um, I have a series of workouts, they're called the 20 Minute Boost and I would love to share uh, some of these workouts with you so you can try it and you can get a feel for how amazing it is to do 20 minutes every day. So if you leave a comment here under this video, I'm gonna reach out to you and I'm gonna hook you up with a couple of these workouts so you can try it out. Um, you don't have to start every single day and, and jump in from zero to 100. You know, just plugging these in a couple times throughout the week is a great way to explore and experiment and then build up and, and sort of snowball effect uh, your, your fitness so that you are starting to be consistent and feeling awesome. So. Pop a comment under here if you are like, yep, I'm, I'm ready to go. This, this sounds like exactly what I need. I'll share some of those with you to try it out. Um, and if you love it, you know, I have, I have the 20 minute boost workout program where I do all of the work for you to plan out an entire program of daily workouts. So you don't have to do anything except to just open up our app. Your workout is there. Um, I'm there tracking workouts with you and helping keep you accountable and motivated. And we have a community of, of moms that are all in this together and we're showing up for ourselves as special needs moms and, and taking care of our body. It's just awesome and I would love for you to be a part of that community. On the horizon, um, I've been thinking about this group and how I can better support the moms here who are um, in this in this free group and not actually just clients and so I'm gonna bring back something that I did um, a long time ago I think it was probably in the fall which was uh, Friday fitness and so on Fridays I'm gonna be popping in here live to do some uh, workouts with you some some fitness education and really try to support you in this area because there is just so, so much um, out there that I, I believe pumps the wrong message about fitness, right? Fitness for a certain body type. Fitness because you have to burn the calories. Um, and I want to shift. I want to shift that story. I want to shift that narrative, especially for you guys, the, the 
the people that I care about most in the world, which are other moms who are raising beautiful, amazing kids who have extra needs, whether that's a disability or um, you know something intellectual or emotional or behavioral, right? Like your kids need you and they need you to be healthy. They don't need you to be skinny. They don't need you to be like an amazing hot mama. That's cool. That's what you want to be. But, <laughs> you know, they need you to be there for them long term. They need you to be able to show up and, and be capable. So we're going to start that on Fridays. That'll kick off, um, I believe, next Friday. I'm going to put Facebook events in the group. So you'll be able to see when it's happening, what we're going to be doing in the workouts. Um, there will be some cardio workouts. There will be some core workouts. There will be, you know, some strength training and, and legs, arms, total body, I, all the workouts that I love to do. And uh, we'll be doing those together they're going to be short they're either going to be five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes so that it is bite size for you to get your toes wet get a feel for me as a coach and see if i am the right person to help support you on your journey all right so um can't wait to support you guys leave a comment if you are ready for some workouts say me i want to work out i'm going to hook you up with that and i will see you in the coming weeks on fridays um, and again, like we talked about, if you have big weight loss goals and you're like, I just, I know that I need to do this and I'm trying to slave away at the gym I'm, or with workouts, I'm not seeing results. Like look outside of just fitness. It's, it's gotta be a holistic picture. And I'm, I'm happy to chat with you about that. You can shoot me a message. All right, guys, have an awesome Wednesday. I will see you for the next one.